Hi, and welcome back to the GSA Connects Cast. I'm your host, Kira Grenet, and I am so excited because with me right now is the president of the Geological Society of America, Chuck Bailey. Chuck, thank you so much for giving us a few minutes of your time. You are such a busy guy. Kira, it's great to be here. Thanks for having me. <laughs> so I just have a few quick questions okay. that I hope we can share a little bit with yeah. everybody. Um, as a professional geologist mm -hmm. and the president of GSA, um, how do you think that this community can t continue to support everybody across, you know, the geoscience community? Well, I mean, for me, uh, the name says it all. It's about connects. Yes. And to me, the meeting here is we've got, you know, more than 4,000 scientists from across the world, across the United States, and they are connecting in real time and real space here. And in some ways, that's what it's all about, trying to make sure we have those connections. So for me, from the professional point of view, this is a high point of my year because I'm seeing old colleagues and new colleagues, and then I'm getting to basically see the results of really new science that is being presented here. And so that to me is, is why we have these meetings, to connect the scientists, bring out the new science. And so for me, that's always been the reason I've come to these things for 30 some years now. And th that is so exciting to see all the new findings mm -hmm. and the new research, I think. Even just walking around the halls and looking at, you know, the titles of the, the sessions happening. Very exciting stuff. So in what ways do you think that GSA Connects can help to further the mission of GSA and the broader community? One of the things that is becoming ever more apparent is the world needs geoscientists because we live in a, a world where we need resources, we need water, we need clean air. Mm. And from my perspective, Geoscientists are going to be critical at that. If we want to find the minerals that are in our cell phones or illuminating our uh, you know, faces right now, that's going to require knowing something about the Earth. Right. If we are going to protect the, the groundwater, um, conserve and sort of curate it, we need geoscientists. So to me, that is one of the things that it is um, this recognition that Earth has a long, long history, but in the present and gone to the future, there's so many things relating to the Earth from you know, the lithosphere to the atmosphere that geoscience plays a role in. So to my perspective, that is why, you know, this stuff is important. Absolutely, couldn't have been better said. And what advice would you give to someone who is either a student or very early in their career? Do you have any uh, little tips and tricks, any wisdom? Well, I don't know that I have much wisdom, but what I would say <laughs> is this, that, um, you know, experience as much of it as you can, all right? In, in the poster hall, and in the exhibit space, there is all sorts of cool science. There are vendors that are showing off things that were, you know, not possible 10 or 15 years ago. And so at a, at a meeting like this, you get an opportunity to sort of sample all that. Hmm. So from my perspective, if you're here as an early career or student, you know, go to sessions and things that you aren't, you know, necessarily a specialist in. And then wander the hall there. Um, and then ultimately, I think that yes, everyone is going to have this, this ability to interact with new scientists, uh, different scientists, and hopefully they walk away with the sense that you know, I've got more professional connections than I had when I arrived. Well, I know we've still got a few more days left and you've got a lot of things going on, but I have to ask you, do you have any favorite moments either from this year's GSA Connects or even past years? Well, I, I do. And I think that um, one of the exciting things about being at these meetings in the role that I'm at is that you never quite know what you're going to get yourself into. Um, and what I mean by that is that, um, you know, I am out talking with people, but I'm also working with the GSA staff. Mm -hmm. And some of the things that have been very cool, like I have helped set up the GSA booth at me these meetings. And um, I would say my technical skills in that are uh, <clears throat> about right here and they should be right here. And those weren't things that I expected to be doing, but there are these other things that have created community. Last night, I was at the uh, GSA International event, and we had scientists from all over the world. GSA, um, you know, we effectively signed an MOU to work with these organizations, and that is just a great sense of happiness that we were able to connect beyond borders in the science realm. So for me, that event last night was the one at this meeting that's been like, wow, that's why we came. That's fantastic, and it's such a fantastic meeting. I'm really enjoying my time here, and we appreciate your time. Thank Great, you so Kira. much for coming today, Chuck. My pleasure. And stay with us, because there is much more to come here on GSA Connects Cast.